Hey guys, kamusta? Uh, I am smiling because I'm standing in front of my car. My car na araw-araw ko siya iniisip. Parang, di ba pag uh, when you like something or when you're in love with someone, araw-araw mo iniisip. So, ito yung second kong, ito yung competition ni Kamil. <laughs> si Kamil pa rin yung number one. Ito, yung pangalan niya, si Amanda. Lahat kong kotse, uh, yung mga pangalan nila starts with letter A. Uh, wala lang, I just find it sexy and uh, you know, rugged and astigin, di ba? Parang Alex. Yung isa kong kotse, Alex. Ito naman si Amanda. Si Amanda, uh, ang kwento dito is because, di ba napansin nyo may tayong kitchen trailer na ginawa nila Joel of Overland Kings? Normally, yung aking Subaru Forester yung humihila sa kanya. Though, napansin namin pag mabigat na ang trailer, medyo si Forester uh, hindi na siya komportable. <laughs> so, kaya kumuha tayo ng pickup from Toyota and uh, it's a Toyota Hilux GR Sport 2023. Siyempre, you can't go wrong with the Toyota. I've driven already. Kung nakita nyo sa camp natin last time, dinala namin sa Baguio with sila Ninong Rai, sila Joel, sila Marvin. And ito na siya ngayon. Uh, on its final stage. Pero sinasabi nila, hindi wala daw katapusan yung pag-setup eh. Pero yeah, I guess ganun. Pagkausap mo si Joel, hindi naman na binubudol ka niya. And I consider this guy one of the greatest salesman. Not because he wants to sell you something, but because he wants to make your life easier. Diba? Like when you enter here, sa lahat ng mga Overland Kings na mga customers, Diba ang hindi hindi masakit or hindi mabigat magbigay ng credit card or magbigay ng GCash account mo kasi tuwang-tuwa ka. Alam mo when you walk out of the shop and you're so happy. Parang may times rin kasi na when you walk out ang bigat and ang guilt, you feel so guilty. Parang shit, ginastos ko ang laki. Pero dito when you walk out parang may ganoon kasi ano pa kaya pwede kong gastos din <laughs> pero sa mga misis natin uh, hindi sa, uh, hindi naman namin yan uh, ine-execute syempre parang parang i guess daydreaming lang so i guess when you enter this place yun nga you are relieved from all your stress and your problems and you are in Disneyland so let's go so here she is here she is oh she's smiling the wife is smiling okay and uh, there's Joel over there, the guy I was telling you guys about. Of course, this guy needs no introduction. So, uh -huh. the concept of our build for Jeep's truck is to represent your lifestyle. Right. To represent how you cook, what you do, right. your personality. Right. Hence, all rage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's, it's important when you, when you build a truck, that's what sets it apart. It's being able to relate to who the person, what the person or the owner right. wants, it, wants it to be. Right? right, right. So all of that is themed around that. So just a quick walk down of the specs. What's main, the main difference of this build for your Hilux, which mm -hmm. I probably haven't told you yet, hmm. is actually the lightest build that we've ever done. Mm. Lightest. lightest build, not color, <laughs> weight. Because, mm. you know, as we build along, the next generation of building trucks, mm. before when we start, you just put something on, you're done. Put a bumper, put a canopy, put a tent, call it a day. Right. But what we've discovered is the more weight you put on the car, the less it feels like an original car. Correct. Because when you when you sway the car, Aaron would know this. When we put a big tent on the chimney, uh, you feel it. When you turn, it feels like it's toppling over, right? Look, oh, yung gap, yung clearance from the wheel and the yeah, and the fender and the fender, same pa rin. Yep. Kung even baga, even with everything on. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Because this is aluminum. Correct. This is. Very light as well. Aluminum. Aluminum as well. It's actually in all... fact, the, the whole, everything we put on is aluminum, except the drawer, except the drawer. But everything, e we haven't done a full build where everything on top is aluminum. This is the first. Wow. Aluminum rack, aluminum crossbar, aluminum roof rack. I, I mean, aluminum canopy, aluminum bars, aluminum tent. Gusto ko lang sing ito. Um, yun nga yung kagandahan with this guy is because when you go to them, they actually listen. Some. It's them sa kotse mo. Hindi, it's not us sa kotse namin. Yeah. So yun yung difference. Yeah. And that's why magaan sa bulsa pag pumunta dito. And <laughs> gumagaan yung bulsa. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> 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 naman. Anyway. You know, in that point, I will show you the first feature that we've adopted because of our trip with, with you, Jake. Yeah. And I remember telling you about this. 
And the first thing we did is I want to show you, we call it the underglow. So the this problem... Is so cool. So first, okay, interior lights. Uh, new design. Design, because lights are lights, but design, it looks very posh, very sleek. That's a new way of doing it. The first thing we did while JP is going away is he cooked under this car with a rice pot to cook his lugaw. And the first thing he told me was, patay ko na para sa'yo. Yan. Oh, bakit ang dilim daw ng, ng <laughs> rice pot, hindi <laughs> na makita. Oh, so ngayon, oh, pag nilagay mo ngayon, may ilaw yan, pre. Oh, well, let me turn it off for you. <laughs> How convenient is that? I'll turn off the interior light. So if, imagine it's a dark place, you're in a campsite, no, in no lighting. You turn on your underglow, you will have light. Right? Why do we put it there? Because this is where the the water uh, the water system is. Yeah. So now, because the purpose of seeing what you want to wash, we incorporate the lights there. So simple yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But before we took it to the next level, we <laughs> might as well, since we're putting lights, we might as well put it on all the wheels. It and it's RGB. And it's not, <laughs> it's functional lighting. Yeah. Lighting talaga siya ng koche. But at the same time, it's so stylish. Yeah. So the idea here is during nighttime, right? when we're chilling out, yeah. we don't like it bright. Yeah. But we also don't want it too dark. Pitch black. Yeah. Mood right? lighting. Yeah. Mood lighting. So under glows in this purpose is we tilted it a little bit so that may lalabas dito ng konti. It's so good. So now the the if you're we were parked in our awning and our tent, you'll be able to see the ground at the very least, but without the blaring lights from the top. Right, right. So simple stuff, little stuff, but I think it makes a difference. It's the little things that count, talaga. Yeah. It's those little details. Yep. Of course, we showed you this, the new system that we put on. Uh -huh. This is now a uh, 1,500 inverter with 200 AH of lithium power from Newton. Wow. Yeah, that so can run for about two to three days? Depending what you run, but definitely if it's just a fridge, three days. But the point here is you'll be able to run, if, if but you don't use this uh, rice cooker, you'll be able to use your induction cooker if you need to, just in case, your hair dryer. For mm. the missus. Mm. <laughs> Water heater. Mm. Of course, our Nespresso machine. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, the Longi. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> uh, sa lahat na mga, sorry to interrupt, sa lahat na mga men out there na gusto pumunta dito, kung kaya nyo dalhin yung asawa nyo at makausap si Joel, para lang mas ma, may konting, mas maraming passes. Dalhin nyo. Kasi, sa ngayon, gumagana. Yeah. <laughs> and isa lang naman yung sinabi ko sa'yo that I wanted, which I think I got, I don't want it overdone. Yeah. Yeah. And tastefully done. That's the beauty of coming here. He will tell you what hindi na kailangan niya. Yeah. Based sa brief mo sa kanya. Correct. And kasi ikaw excited ka eh. You want everything Correct. in your car. Yeah. And he'll really stop you. Yeah. Hindi na kailangan sir. Yeah. Yeah. Less is more. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> pero, okay. pero you gotta put some stuff on. Yeah, it can yeah, be nothing. Yeah. All right. Let's yeah, go. So, let's continue. Continue. So what we have here is the latest canopy from Bush Tech. It's aluminum. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Basically, 90% all bush tech. Yep. So, you have the aluminum tray here. This is a revolutionary product, accessory, uh -huh. and that kind of changes the game for everybody. Because okay. this, again, overlanders like dead space usability. <laughs> yes. Ena, ena. Uy, babe, oh, dami natin pwede idikit dyan doon ng mga patchy-patch-patch natin. Oh, gusto yun, JP. Uy. So, panilagyan ko na. So, now, the car is out. So, everything is switched through this. Yeah, just a flush look. Uh, cube lights, your work lights, your cargo lights, and the underglow, you saw that already. And then the fish box, I call that the fish box on the other side. The light here is we try to do it in a way where you're, when you're looking at your cab, it's not gonna be blinding to your eyes. Yeah. Uh, so that's why we tuck the light underneath and be able to show it there without, you know, right. flash banging. And if you've noticed, diretso na show. Yeah. His mind never stops. He's always constantly thinking. And that's why I really respect this guy because he never stops. Continuous yung pag improve yeah. and ever evolving. Yeah. There. yeah. Dapat, dapat ano? Forward. Push, the, push it forward all the yeah. time, right? Parang, yeah. punta ka dito next month, iba na naman yung uso. Or iba na naman yung... 
Next time, happening. Next time, mapakita yun. Oh, sige. Ah, okay. Oh, sige. Dami pa. May mga iba dito. Pero na, may iba dito. Mga under wraps pa eh. Under wraps, yeah. Anyway, ito. Proceed na siya. So, what's under here? This is uh, basically just a cargo cabin for your drawers, uh, you know, for your gear. Mm -hmm. uh, but this little oh, this piece of cool. kit is cool for this truck because, again, this is a bush tech accessory. Yeah, may lock yan, bro. You gotta, yeah. Uh, but let's finish the back. Okay. So, right here, you have your fridge slide. Oh, so, okay. with yeah. a drop down. So, basically, once you put the fridge here, uh, easy access because of that drop down. Again, proprietary design because it's a hack. <laughs> <laughs> Costs you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this kitchen drawer from Mountain Mule is equipped with a pull out table that you could use. Yes, uh -huh. we haven't peeled it up yet. Oh, fun pa. Pero masarap to eh. Mamaya mo nagawin siya. Mamaya, mamaya, mamaya. Sarap gawin yun eh. Yes, yes, yes. And then, uh, you've seen this before. Uh, we've also in incorporated, we haven't cleaned this up yet. But From our recent camp This trip. has already been used. Oh, and, na, uh, na ginasgasan ni Ninong Rai. Na wala na. <laughs> Tapos na ang kwento. Yeah, nilagyan niya ng mga bato-bato. Bato-bato, so. Pero yun, pero it's, it shows that, you know, ginagamit talaga. Yeah. It's super functional. Yeah. We're still gonna clean this up, but basically you have your sink uh, and your uh, kitchen ready for, ready for you to cook anywhere. Anywhere. Because Japes wants to do the best pulp dining. So yeah. uh, we have this uh, yeah. little concept that we're gonna run. Yeah, what's that? It's coming soon, coming soon. Yeah. Coming soon. Hindi natin pwede reveal lahat. Yeah. Uh, last but not the least, on this side you have your awning and then just an extra cubby hole for the drinks of camps. Yeah. Uh, when... Uh, <laughs> when uh, she's doing her thing. And uh, some secret storages. This has an under... Hey, did you see this? This, uh, this? this one actually has a under tub storage. This is a proprietary bush tech thing also. And then you have these rails that are you can adjust. So if you put your boxes here, your Thor boxes, your front runner boxes, I don't know, whatever boxes you have, you can just tie it down to do it every way because you have these movable D-rings along this channel. By the way, all of the stuff's movable and reconfigurable because of proprietary channels that are included in the bush tech canopy. You see this channel down here? So basically, there's a lock there, and then you can move this here, you can move this there, you can swap this, swap this around. So everything's modular in terms of bush tech. Last but not the least, it's probably the first canopy with the table because chefs need workspace. So the table, the table is a pull-out from the top. I'm not going to pull it out right now, but basically, usually it's from the back. But again, dead space and the table fits there. The reason the table fits here is because of the aluminum canopy that Bush Tech has made. If you can see here, this is probably the widest width you can get on a canopy. Usually, canopies take a lot of space. This maximizes basically the whole breadth because it's made of aluminum and it's, you can take the width. Last but not the least, an accessory, a table. Basic, simple design. Pero very well thought of, very seamless, very safe for your paint May as well. Rubber. And let's connect the. Lock it in. Done. Mini bar. Done. There you go. So huh. simple, simple. Like it's nothing rocket science, right, James? But yeah. definitely usable for everything we're doing. Of course, we light this up, but. Uh, you can see everything that you... Yeah, it's hello. There's a lot of love. You know the feeling that we're both together? It's like we're, you're showing us a new home. Well, it is a home. Yeah. <laughs> On wheels. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then up front, we have the recovery gears and the lights. Uh, this is the antenna that we put up. Of course, we like it sleek. So if you're in a mall, you can... But if you're outside, after the tallway, you could raise that up. And... Uh, yeah. Then you'll be able to use the antenna. So. Uh, last but not the least, we, we tried to keep the GR Hilux look because that's the reason you bought this car. Correct. So we didn't cut it up with steel bumpers or aluminum bumpers. We just added the flare of having additional fog lights that are yellow, uh, the PIL PX, which comes with the DRLs, which you like. Uh, and then up top, you know, that's just more our concept. So it looks like a like a lunar a rover type yeah. of thing. I was saying, hey, I was sending Joel all the pegs mm -hmm. and I was sending him like, front bumpers, and he was the one who told me, hey JP, exactly what he said, this is a GR, let's make it look like a GR. Yeah. Or like, I mean, let's keep to the theme of the GR yeah. and then just add touches to make it our own. I, I don't know if it's a Sarsa theme, or uh, basically there are Pantones that we're working with, right? Usually olive green, uh, Sahara beige, yeah. and then grays, right? Yeah. That, that's usually our, 
Uh, oh yeah, I forgot last thing. This car is fully repainted by Injenko. Oh yes, that's why <laughs> it looks different. So this is not a this is not a Casa. Don't go to Toyota and ask for this color, okay? So, Injenko. Yeah, you go to Injenko or Overland Kings and ask for this color. Uh, yes. Then we have the patch. Uh, we have the Pantone for this. And then they, they were originally this was black. This was a black car. Yeah. And then pinatungan nila neto. Right. And it didn't take long, right? Yeah, two weeks. Two Max. weeks. Yeah. But and the point is, this is still a foil. So it's peelable. At the end of it, uh, if you want it black again, we can take it off for you. But if you're not, if if you're a car nut, this is what you usually check. It's painted all the way in. <laughs> There's, it's not a half job on the on the outside, which is a challenge usually with foil because they're lines. So this one, you can see this used to be black. This used to be black. Everything up to the corners are all uh, color matched. So it's those little details that make it interesting. And of course, Chef James couldn't resist and put some Gordon Miller stuff, what we're wearing. Yeah. Beige uh, oh. matting. Hindi pa ako tapos dito sa interiors. Kasi parating pa mga Amazon shopping ko. Basta, basta. Next, next yan. The car has been equipped because our feel is a little bit more Japanese surfer sleek style. Utilitarian. So, what we have here is the Black Rhinos. And paired up with the Nito Ridge Grappler tires. And uh, with this new Hilux, we tried to go a little bit more conservative in terms of wheels and tires because there's still no lift for this car. Right. And what we're trying to say is because of all the lightening stuff that we've done on the vehicle, who said a stock car can't rock? <laughs> and he made it, they made it look cool at the same time. Functional and cool. Yeah. So I guess, if you've noticed, these are like old school rims. And yeah. I guess, you know, uh, some might question, oh, why those rims? Why but, simple, yeah. But why not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's, I guess for me, at first, uh, I was ako rin, nang bago rin ako. Really? Parang, di ba dati pa yan? And then after a while, parang, oh my God, it is nice. There's a cool thing to it. Classic, timeless. Timeless, timeless. Yeah. And, wala, I mean, I can sit here. Kung may sunset dyan at ito, parang, kompleto na yung araw mo. <laughs> parang ganun. I will leave you back to JP. Thanks for always having us thank do you, your thank cars. You, thank you. Hope uh, you enjoy your uh, Amanda. I can't believe we pulled this off. Diba normally sa, when you give a peg, 90% lang may execute. Ito 110 eh. You're right though in what you said. Parang some people kasi do something uh, because of them, for their ego, for their, you know, but this is still so you. Normally, diba, when you come here, you get to take home the car. This time, I can't. And because we're going to the car show. And we can see the car at its full potential, among with others. There are other people that are under wraps, pa. literally. We can't see it. But for now, it's just this one. I'm just going to... All I can do is look at it. I can't drive it home yet. Lahat to pupunta sa car show. This is for the car show. Uh, ito yung mga... Basta, we're gonna accessorize our area, our booth. So, let's go to Overland Kings now. And here's our rig. And our plant. And we're almost ready to roll out. Originally, this was a black Hilux GR. And because of this guy... <laughs> ano nga yung ginawa mo dito? Uh, it's a liquid drop. Uh, okay. So... Anytime you want to peel it, sir, pwede na, pwede balik sa original yung paint mo. So is it a paint or a wrap? It's a temporary paint. It's a temporary paint. Uh, sa Parang mga, it's like a film. Yes, na siyempre ayaw natin masira yung value ng car pag nirepaint natin siya. Right. So this is the best solution, I think. Right. Parang talaga siyang original. Even yung hood. Right? And tsaka, di, grabe yung paggawa nila. Sobrang pulido. And sobrang bilis actually. <laughs> and also yung mga tauhan ni Boss Ronald, sobrang passionate. Actually, ang nakausap ko sila, magaling sila. Tsaka alam nila talaga yung ginagawa nila. Thank no? you, thank you, sir. <laughs> grabe, grabe. We are here kung saan natin pinakulay ang ating truck at Injenko. Yan. So yung original color ng ating Hilux, black, di ba? Black. Naalala mo? Ilang linggo mo siya ginawa? Isang linggo lang yan. Isang linggo. So, nagbibigay siyang bagong kulay. Protect... 
protection at pogi katulad mo. Yan. Okay, thank you. Ano pa kalan sir? Dodong na lang po. Ha? Dodong. Sir. Dodong, dodong. Thank you ah. Si Dodong yung responsible sa ating uh, kotse na you know, syempre gumanda ng konte. Yun. So Yeah, guys. In Jenko. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing a fine job. Your flatbed is here, so <laughs> yeah. the grab for your car is here. <laughs> <laughs> In order, kasi kadina eh. Actually, nandito na. Ay, kung driver ko yah. Ayan. Tinawag tapos nandito pambira. <laughs> hindi pa ako sinusundan ko. Oh, hindi araw-araw na nangyari to. <laughs> yeah. Ayan, ayan siya. So ngayon ilo-load na natin siya sa truck bed. So this guy hasn't gotten any sleep. Well, together with his team, for the past two weeks, they've been sleeping for about maybe four hours, four to five hours a day. And this is the final preparation. Siyempre, kailangan natin balutin kasi protektahan natin yung Injenko paint natin. Okay ba, Kuya? Maganda naman. Nagugustuhan mo? Maganda yung paint niya, no? Yan pa alam mo, Kuya? Jade? Okay, uh, so, okay na. Okay na, pwede na mag uh, pwede na umupo. Pwede na Ingress time for Manila Auto Salon. Most of the trucks or the cars are here. Pero sa amin hindi pa kompleto. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, I see it. Ito na yung thundra natin. There she is. There she is. Tumating na yung LC. Sa wakas. Pero may isang car pa tayo hinihintay. Hi Bomber J. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, yeah. Okay, isang daan ito. Isang daan ito. Okay. Yeah, bantay mo. Hi, Goya. Edwin, dumating na yung grab mo. Cool. Wow. I think this is a cool over memory. Not every day you get to drive a G-Wagon inside SMX. Sumunan so, unan. Unan. Ito ang responsible sa ating car. Yung sinasabi ko kanina yung tauhan nila Ronald of Injenko. Sobrang galing, sobrang passionate. Ito siya. Si Dodong. No? Dodong, kamusta? Anong pakiramdam na yung pinaghirapan mo nandito na? Masaya. Masaya? Uh, Dong, kailangan dalhin mo yung camera mo para makita mo yung mga tao na nag-a-appreciate ng gawa mo. Ito, gano'n mo katagal ginawa to? Ito parang isang buwan ano? May get, no? It's 10.30 and uh, day one of ingress is done. Sila Joel, they're gonna do a brief for for everything. They're gonna do a brief for tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a presentation, so let's let them be. All right, bye.
may mode kasi ako eh. Ito yung setup mode and uh, mamaya magki-kitchen mode. And then I have to snap out to being nice mode and uh, accommodating mode. So yan, part part ng trabaho natin yan bilang kusinero. And we are on day three uh, of this car show. Um, it's very close to my heart because Joe is a good friend of mine and deep down, everyone Lahat tayo gusto sumali sa car show. Lahat tayo pumupunta ng car show, di ba? When we get our license, uh, when we go to college, di ba? Yung freedom of driving. So parang it's, it has a lot of memories. You can see yung mga tao dito when they look at the cars, parang ang daming kwento. Ang dami nila naalala. May mga old school tayo doon, may mga current, may mga futuristic, may mga out of this world. And then merong camping. Merong ganito. Ito natutunan ko kay Bomber J to how to light up your car. So every time pag nagka-camp kami, I always try to, you know, observe other campers how they set up and then I don't copy them, I just get inspiration. Ayun pala eh. Ito nilalagay niya sa loob. So, pang para umiilaw yung sa loob ng tent. Thank you. Maganda ba? <laughs> Gawain niya kasi. Overland Kings. Ah, iba talaga yung Overland Kings kasi. <laughs> ah, ito na, narinig niya. Pero sinasabi ko yun habang... Hindi ko sinasadya na para parinig sa kanya. Sinasabi ko na ito to. <laughs> Dito ako bilib kay Joel, yung communication. Yung kwento ko sa'yo kanina, yung... I've been observing the guy for the past couple of days and how he carries himself under pressure. Um, never siya pumitik. Kahit na stress na stress na siya, he kept it cool, he was respectful to everyone, he treated everyone the same. Five guys, five guys, just show me your phone. Who are subscribed to the Overland Cakes Instagram page? All right, go on, show me. I just have to show it. Maru, magaling to si Joel maga magbuild up si guys. All right, we're gonna make this a little harder for you. Watch and learn tayo dito sa kanya. What was the last count out of Overland Cakes? Raise your hand. Okay, ganito, ganito, ganito. All right, so guys, Luga. Okay, mahaparating kami kwa itong Luga. Kasi yeah, good so, dahil, dahil sa lugaw na yan, na sobrang bigat, tumibag to. <laughs> Nagbent to. <laughs> Pero kasi sabi kasi ni Boss Joel, sige lang, try natin para matest talaga natin yung limit ng ating rig. Kasi yung philosophy ni Joel, kailangan nagagamit. Dapat sagat, di ba? Oo. Hindi siya, form and function, kumbaga. Eh, so, hindi na sabi na yung lugaw tinalagay niya, mayroong 30 liters ng tubig. Kaya naubos yung tubig ko dito at humiram pa ako ng tubig sa kabilang... So, uh, tubig na tubig ang inubos niya sa lugaw niya. So, thank you for watching our lugaw episode. So, huwag kayong maglugaw sa camp. We can serve like 30 people per seating kasi para hindi tayo masyadong elbow to elbow dito. Yes, this is actually how we set up during our campsites. Even the layout of the vehicles and the layout of this, this is not for show. All our cars are used. So, all our cars, yes, are show quality. But our cars are not perfect. Let me be the person to tell you. Lahat ka may bahay, lahat ka may dumi. Just because we make sure that an overland drink is used. Okay. So one of the things that we love to do is, aside from your normal hot dog and spa, which we still do by the way, is we like to eat a little differently. And uh, what chef is prepared today is basically a one-dish wonder for everybody to taste. Actually, I don't know what he's preparing because kahapon pa siya secret. Huh. Uh, so, uh, I still don't know what it is. So, basically, para siyang uh, Pares meets Machang. So, yeah. ma Pares Machang or uh, Pares Sticky Rice. Parang. Pares, Pares, Pares Sticky, sticky Rice. rice. Oh. Everything we did for the vehicle of Chef JP is designed to the lifestyle of Chef JP. So, if you can see up top on the roof, then, meron siyang surfboard sa taas. Because part of the lifestyle of Chef JP is to surf. So, we, dis we plan to bring the Hilux to a surf camp or anywhere. I don't know, it's a shotgun, but I don't know how to do it. So, these are, these are the things. And aside from that, all right, first dish is out. First dish, here we go. So, 
Do it also designed it also as a as a kitchen where you can mobile cook, mobile cook for everybody if you if you're in the area or actually let me just strictly pitch for Chef JD. Actually this rig, if you want to experience a personalized dining, let's say malapit na Christmas, tapos meron kayong date, okay? Gusto niyo talaga walang kayo at si Chef JD nagluluto sa kitna ng bundok. Uh, I'm going to quickly interview you. What, what, uh, what, what should we expect from this dish? Uh, I guess it's a, you know, like what Joel said, it's an all-in-one dish. It's something hearty, something familiar, something very tasty, and uh, something that will make you happy. Sir, what's your name, Bob? Jay. Jay? Okay, Jay, go for it. First bite. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. So Nor traditionally, like, traditionally, traditionally more very, sticky. very sticky yeah. and very heavy. Yeah, heavy, heavy feeling. This, was, this one's just uh, right. It's uh, yeah with spring onions lang, fried garlic, chili garlic. Ito pa paborito ni Joel, oh, uh, yes. chili garlic. Siempre pag kumakain tayo ng Paris may chili garlic, di ba? Yeah. You know, it's such a simple dish, but mm. I think it's complete. It's yeah, it's it's a comforting dish. Parang at the end of a week, parang or at the end of, at the end of a long day, parang it's this is something na parang that hits the spot. It's one of the joys of what we do. Uh -huh. is I think uh, food brings people together. Do you think? Correct, correct. La tayo may ilig kumain. <laughs> So and uh, that's the that's the magic of food. Correct, correct. It's uh, it breaks barriers. Thank you. We always appreciate the good enough. We compliment the chef's cooking. If you haven't tried uh, any of this, uh, no, if, if you say, hey Joel, I'm just starting. Di ko pa alam ano gagawin, di ba? This is my first time. Ano kailan yung gawin? Yung dayo pina kasagot yan. Do whatever you have in your house. Get whatever stuff you have in the house and go out. That's the first thing you gotta do. That's my first tip. Pero after you do a bash, pag balik nyo, then evaluate for yourself. Ano ba kulang ko? Then punta nyo na kami. <laughs> Yun yung food. One of the things that are challenging is pag sobrang daming dishes, you have to wash so many stuff. Right? So it's good to have one dish wonders, like something like a matcha or something that you can steam, something that you can cook on a pot with soup. It's always a good thing to start with. So there, hope you guys enjoy the food. Share, share na lang kayo. Thank you. Thank you. I think we can put back the the chairs and then para lang they can chill na. Uh, you want a drink from Combi Brew? They're back here. Sophie and her team for mounting another successful Manila Auto Salon. Razzle dazzle. <laughs> Tasting menu Spice it up. Secret menu ba lang? Yes. Paano? Pa-explain. Pwede bang i-secret menu sa fire dog? Kalapa lang si Dodong. 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 Ayan, ayan, ayan. Dodong. 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 Ayan, ito si Dodong. Ayan, go. Siya yung dahilan na... Ang ganda ng kulay nito. Actually, lahat. Lahat ng cars natin. Yung team nila nag-paint ng ating cars. Ito, ilang buwan mo pinaint to? Uh, isang buwan. Isang buwan? Uh, kasi kasi nagpapaklas po po kami. Tinanggal nyo lahat, ano? Tsaka, ano, nag-prep ano, po. Sa apat na, na nandito na pinintaan nyo, ano yung pinaka-paborito mong... Sino yung paborito mong anak? Lasted. Halos lahat. Tama naman yung sagot kasi <laughs> anak. Yung ginawa mo sa aming kotse, sobra kaming natuwa. Kami naman yung magpapasaya sa'yo. Ito, para sa inyo. Okay, upo ka dyan para ikaw naman yung customer ngayon. Pag sinabihan ka ng boss mo, huwag mo siya munang sundin na. Saan si Boss Ronald? <laughs> Ayun, si Boss Ronald. Okay guys, let's go around to Sir Ronald. Okay, Ronald Chopin Jengo. He's one of our major partners for this show because he painted all our cars. Yeah. 
Three of our rigs here is actually peelable paint. This is not paint. So the Tundra, the Hilux, and the G Square is actually injectable. Yes. Any color you want. All right. There you have it. Congratulations for joining the Manila Auto Salon 2023. Again, this is Joe Pedro from Signing Out. We'll see you again later. So uh, do enjoy the rest of the show. Good afternoon, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching or for being here with us. And I hope that one day, someday, you guys can experience this as well. Hey guys, so last day of the auto salon. Uh, ito na yung dulong dulo ng three or four day event. Anyway, ito na. So finally, lumabas ng results. Pakita ko sa inyo. The best of show Star Trek is Overland Peach for the 20th year. Yan ang ating winner, best of show sport truck category. Look at that smile, the million dollar smile. Now we can rest. Oh, yan, the team of Joel. Uh, possible without the team, the team, the strong team. And just like that, it's done. It's done. <laughs>